nymph. In thy orisons be all my sins remembered. Good, my lord. How does your honor for this many a day? I humbly thank you well. 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 My lord, I have remembrances of yours I have longed long to re-deliver. I pray you now receive them. No, not I. I never gave you aught. My honored lord, you know right well you did. And with the words of so sweet breath composed is made the things more rich. Their perfume lost take these again. But to the noble mind rich gifts wax poor when givers prove unkind. There, my lord. Hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. Are you honest? My lord? Are you fair? What means your lordship? That if you be honest and fair, your honesty should admit no discourse to your beauty. Could beauty, my lord, have better commerce than with honesty? Aye, truly. For the power of beauty will sooner transform honesty from what it is to a bawd than the force of honesty can translate beauty into his likeness. This was sometime a paradox, but now the time gives it proof. I did love you once. Indeed, my lord, you made me believe so. You should not have believed me. I loved you not. I was the more deceived. Get thee to a nunnery. <laughs> Why wouldst thou be a breeder of sinners? I am myself indifferent, honest, but yet I could accuse me of such things that it were better my mother had not borne me. I am very proud revengeful, ambitious, with more offenses at my beck than I have thoughts to put them in, imagination to give them shape, or time to act them in. What should such fellows as I do, crawling between earth and heaven? We are arrant knaves all. Believe none of us. Go thy ways to a nunnery. <laughs> be shut upon him, that he may play the fool nowhere but in his own house. Farewell. Oh, you, sweet heavens. If thou dost marry, I'll give thee this plague for thy dowry. Be thou as chaste as ice, as pure as snow. Thou shalt not escape calumny. Get thee to a nunnery, go. Or if thou wilt needs marry, marry a fool. For wise men know well enough what monsters you make of them. To a nunnery, go, and quickly, too. Farewell. Oh, heavenly powers, restore him. I have heard of your paintings, too, well enough. God hath given you one face, and you make yourselves another. You jig, you amble, and you lisp. You nickname God's creatures and make your wantonness your ignorance. Go to, I'll no more on it. It hath made me mad. I say we will have no more marriages. Those that are married already, all but one shall live. The rest shall keep as they are. To a nunnery, go. 
Was his noble mind is he a Hothrop? The courtiers, soldiers, scholars, eye, tongue, sword. The expectancy and rose of the fair state, the glass of fashion and the mold of form. The observed of all observers quite, quite down. And I, of ladies most deject and wretched that suck the honey of his music vows now. That noble and most sovereign reason, like sweet bells jangled out of tune and harsh, that unmatched form and feature of blown youth, blasted with ecstasy. Oh. Woe is me to have seen what I have seen. See what I see. <laughs> 